More than 125 students from Seabird Elementary School spent Wednesday at the Knowlton School of Architecture for an educational exercise about landscape architecture. Third, fourth, and fifth graders were tasked with creating a plan view and a model of a new playground for their school. We kind of started with the model views where we took and we made with paper and tape, we modeled um, some playground equipment based on the scale of a Lego and we tested with the Lego person. After months of working, the students finally pinned up their plan views. Although the playground design may never come to existence, this exercise was meant to expose the kids to different career fields. For the Seaver students, it was really to expose them to uh, the design disciplines, specifically landscape architecture. Beyond stimulating the children's imaginations for a better playground, this exercise provided additional benefits as well. They get to speak and respond about their artwork, which is amazing, because not often do they have people that give them that one-on-one -on -one to explain their work, because it's usually me and 27 of them in a room in 45 minutes. The playground project enabled the students to grasp the essentials of being a landscape architect while emphasizing the importance of creativity in their designs. I learned that uh, you have to do a lot of math, you have to design, and you have to draw. As the day came to an end, the kids of Seabird Elementary embraced the roles of landscape architects, setting the stage for them to become the next generation of creative problem solvers, and their efforts in transforming their own playground has made teachers, families, and themselves proud. This is AJ Heimel reporting for The Lantern.